I'm George. Today, I'll knock out a quick one on camera. On the bench, I've got a box, and now this arrived through the post. Dom, Drivers Film Shortwave, turns out was the sender of this package, and he said, now I've got no excuse not to make a video. So I thought, right, okay, let's have a look. So we'll open it up, and the first thing I notice, sweeties. Gotta have the sweeties, so that's a bonus. They'll be for later. A sticker from Racket Noisy Electronics Kits with the resistor colour code. It says, memorise to Im impress your friends. And that's always a good thing, memorise the resistors. Then you get a soldering safety notice. Regular brakes prevent accidental, accidental misuse of soldering irons. Don't use it for curling your hair. Don't juggle with it. Don't eat with a pair of them like chopsticks and don't knit with them. And then there's a little speaker in a bag another bag from racket so this has obviously come direct from them atari punk console for assembly guides and helpful hints go to rackets.com now i did actually go to rackets when i first opened it and the instructions are great if you're a newbie and you haven't done soldering before and they teach you what to do and how to do it and where now obviously i i'm a I'm an old man and I've done this sort of thing and um, yeah, I'm going to ignore the instructions. I'm just going to do it. So let's move the box out of the way. It's very pretty and pink inside. Very pretty and pink. We like pink. I've just realised the last time you saw me, I had blue hair. This time, the green's almost gone. It was green, very green. So green, in fact... It glowed in the dark. Let's get on with this kit. The soldering iron is warmed up, or warming up. My solder is here. So let's open this up. A bag with resistors and some capacitors. A very nice stylish PCB with all the component values marked on it. That's very good. We have an IC, which is a NE556. So that's a a dual timer, battery contact, pots, a switch, and a, a socket. Okay, so I suppose we better start putting it together. Let's get the resistors out. Now that's nice, there's a cheat sheet to actually show you the colouring on the resistors and the values of the capacitors with the codes and the actual values. So the board will say 10 nanofarads and you'll know it's a 103. And 100 nanofarads is a 104. Either lay these out in order, or we can do my normal hunt, pick and plod in. And I think we'll do the normal hunt, pick and plod in. Right, so that's the soldering done. Let's just put the IC in, seeing as we can. Let's just make sure it's the right way round. Um, notch down, IC in, clip that in. Right, now the theory is that should just work. Right, so we have a pitch control and a depth control. And it makes pretty noises. I could sit here twiddling my knob all day. We've tried it with this little diddy speaker. And that's great. I wonder. Let's 
just untack the wires from the back of the speaker and connect it to the bench speaker. Yeah, so there you go. That's the Rackets Atari Punk console kit. Simple to do for a beginner. No real instructions needed for anybody who's experienced in electronics. As, as you can see, I didn't really need anything bar better eyesight to see the resistor values. Landing pads are touch small in some cases. But again, doable. Um, and fun. Yes, it's fun. It really is fun. So it makes noise. We like noise. Maybe a better speaker would be an idea. You know, take one out of an old transistor radio and, and see how that goes. That might be an option. Um, in fact, I've got some better ones on the bench. I could play with those as well. But, yeah, go for it. If you like the video, you know, click the like button. Make me feel good. Click subscribe if you want to see any more videos from me. If you think you can survive me me and my madness and my ever-changing hair. And click the bell notifications just to get told when I do something new. And I'm going to try and not make it six months time again. Anyway, thank you. See you all soon. Bye for now.